Coach Goodwill joins me now. And Coach, uh, nice, nice victory. Uh, I thought the kids played a good game. Lee and I were talking about the first half. It was a little lackluster, even though we had a 14-12 a lead at the yeah. half. And at that point in time, we were talking, and I said, you know, football's a game of two halves. And if you make the proper adjustments at halftime, you know, that that's the big thing. And uh, you guys made adjustments on both sides of the ball, I thought. The defense played very well, played a great game in the second half. And I thought the team overall played a very good two quarters of football in the third and fourth quarter. Yes, I agree. Uh, it was a sloppy first half. Um, you know, we came, uh, came away with a lucky one there at the end with the, the screen pass to Landon. The huge play um, gave us momentum going into the half. But, uh, yeah, we started bringing pressure um, from, uh, the deep point, from the defense. Uh, get the heat on the quarterback. Um, take away the run game. So, it just felt. Well, Lee uh, also noticed in about midway through the third, he said, boy, are we wearing Fairview down. They yeah. just started getting tired. Yeah. Yeah, we went to some no huddle stuff. We get a big play. Uh, you know, we sprint to the line, uh, run a play real fast, and uh, you know, we did. We saw we saw that too. We were wearing down a little bit. You know? Well, it's nice when you get a little bit of a lead too, and you can start rotating players a little bit mm-hmm. more, which which helps the first down the opponent as well. But uh, yeah, and it helps to have. Uh, we're almost a full strength now. You know, we're minus we're minus Trey, of course. Uh, we missed him big tonight, but we're we're almost a full strength. So that allowed us to rotate guys where we needed to and get them breaks where they, um, when they were when they were out there, so that was good. Well, I saw Mrs. Harrington prior to the game, Sarah, tonight, and she was a little nervous about Logan coming back to play. Yeah. I think they do calmed her nerves after this game. <laughs> he played a great game. Uh, yeah, I when he chased that kid down down there and, and stripped the ball, I, I I couldn't believe this kid was out with a, with a broken fibula uh, the last couple weeks. So, I don't know. Maybe it was, maybe it was a fake one. I don't know. <laughs> that was a great play. Uh, great effort overall. I thought that everyone worked together. Of course, you, you have a great coaching staff, but we haven't talked about that the times that we, we do. interviewed we do. you. Uh, uh, Lee and I were talking about how giving back to the program is so crucial and important. You got Coach Carney out there, yourself out there. Um, you have, now you get got the younger guys coming in with Coach uh, Brandon Miller, yeah. Coach Matt Craig, and it's just a nice blend and a nice thing. And of course, you have Father Time out there. We have Father Time. Yeah, I was going to say, don't forget him. I, uh, um, I was asking Lee. So we got to pick on Coach Clark a little bit. You have to. We do it all the time. I, I uh, think he's that, like our second dad out there to make fun of. Them. My uh, my next question for him is: to, I'm going to ask him if there was history when he was in school, or if it was just current <laughs> events. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have great mix of coaches. Uh, like you said, uh, we have a lot of guys from Corey. Uh, you know, this program did a lot of great things for them, and, and they're giving back to it. So uh, it's great to see. And we got the young, we got the old, we got everything in between. So uh, you know, a lot of great perspectives out there, a lot of great experience. Well, good, good victory. And uh, I think that when the kids watch the game film, they're going to see that uh, wow, we have a lot of potential. Yeah, because it, it just showed out there. Landon played like a bear on both sides of the ball. He did. Him the probably he did. Seven, like, player of the game. And, but there was a lot of other guys that it played was, very well, you know, too. especially those guys that have been out for a couple of weeks. You know, Caden did well in it, went out there and uh, played his heart out. Um, you know, Ethan Austin Allen's Aaron, been really he's popping been up quite a bit as a freshman. Along. He's one of our uh, young guys. Wyatt Eshelman as well played a great game. Great defense. Defense. Yep. So, yeah, the potential of these kids and the, the future of Corey football looks really good. It does. It does so work tight. you got a big game next week, and uh, – to be preparing for the Warren Dragons. You've got to travel down there, and then of course uh, you got Harbor Creek the last game. But uh, great, great effort, Coach, and go enjoy this victory with your team. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Brent.